Hello everyone, Humphrey Chung here for Router Gods, and I've gotten a lot of emails asking about that wonderful terminal program that I use called Remote Desktop Manager. So a lot of people are asking, where do I get Remote Desktop Manager and how do I configure it? Well, let me answer the second part first about how do you get it. Uh, you buy it, and so just search for on Google, Remote Desktop Manager, and you'll find who makes it and buy it. It's not that much, and it's well worth the money, okay? Now for the first part, how to configure it. First, we've got a GNS3 topology up. We have to know the port to get into the particular routers. Then we're gonna configure PuTTY, and then we're gonna configure Remote Desktop Manager to point to PuTTY. So it's a three-step process here. And let's say we want to use, we want to terminal into R1. Hover over R1, and you'll see inside this box of uh, gobbledygook, that the hypervisor is running on 127.0.0.1. Kind of makes sense. It's my own computer. It's my loopback, my local host. And the console is 2001. Okay, so 2001. And usually GNS3 follows a convention. Router 1 is 2001. If I go over to Router 2, Router 2 should be 2002. Then you open up PuTTY. So let's go into PuTTY. And you can see I've, I've already done this, but let's pretend that uh, we haven't. So host name, it's going to be yourself. So 127.0.0.1 and router one's going to be 2001 and it's going to be Telnet. Now notice when I clicked on Telnet, it changed my port number. So you might want to click Telnet first and then change the port. Saves you an extra step, but you know, it's up to you. So Telnet 2001. Your host name is yourself, and then save it as R1. And then what's nice is just keep the same information, change the port number, change R1 to R2, and save it again. So you're going to save R1, R2, R3, so on and so forth. So you're going to make these for R1 to R6, switch 1 to switch 4, and if you want, backbone 1 to backbone 3. Okay, So this is saved inside of PuTTY going to exit out of there, go into Remote Desktop Manager. Let's pretend we don't have any of this. Your sessions are right here. Just right click on this empty white space. We're going to add and add by session type. And we're going to pick Telnet, SSH, all that good stuff. Click on that. I'm just going to call this one test. It's asking what folder you want to put it in. I'm not going to put this in any folder. Display this is important. Click the drop down. You want this to be tabbed. If you pick just external, it's going to open it in its own window. So embedded tabbed. Now here's what's cool. So down here for session, there's a drop down menu. This hooks into your putty. So all you have to do is find the particular device, so GNS3, and then just leave everything else blank. Click OK, and it's going to make your, I called it a test, but you're going to call it R1. Now here's what's nice. So you've done this for R1, now you need to do it for R2. You don't need to right click and do all this stuff again. Just right click, duplicate session, call it R2. See, it took the embedded tab so you don't need to do any of that and just click the drop down and pick R2. Okay, Click OK and just keep duplicating sessions until you have everything done. And by that time you're going to have a bunch of sessions here but you want to put them into a folder so that you can right click and open group. Okay, So a folder is called a group inside of Remote Desktop Manager. Really easy. Right click add group and just call it something and then just drag everything into that folder okay that's it and after you have everything done really easy right click open group fires up all your sessions inside of nice little tabs up here makes your life a lot easier 